hello friends welcome to my channel today i will explain to you how to protect the word document the reason i come up with this idea because like i live in the california it doesn't matter where you live but like uh, in this digital world you have to have like so many ids and so many passwords that is so hard to you cannot remember that all and uh, if you keep somewhere there are chances that get stolen and you get uh, be in trouble so the best thing is that you can have some secure or protected document and in that one you have the list of all the websites or all the utilities that you are paying you should have the, all the ids and password there with the hint not the full never put your full password at anywhere because it's not secure at all anytime so uh, let's i will share my screen with you and you can learn from there that how you can simply uh, follow the steps and uh, secure your word documents and then use it uh, you can send that the same document uh, to yourself through the email or you can put on the google drive uh, and that's the way you can access from anywhere like and if you want to go in any website you don't need to remember your id or password you just need to remember one password that you are using to protect that word document if you remember that then you can have access of all these utilities id and password in one click so let's go and see and learn from there okay thank you so much welcome to my channel friend today we'll learn how to protect the word document and it's really useful uh, so let's start right click on the screen and just go to the new and then go to the word document you can put uh, any name I'm putting documents at here open it up and then you can write down anything that how to protect word document so what you can do click on the file before protect the document let's see let me show you at here you can put any title at here it will be display on your documents you can put any tag you can put any comments on it even you can put your name at here as a author so if when somebody uses this document uh, uh, people can see that who is the originator of this document now let's go about, uh, back to the uh, how to protect the document so you when you click on the file you already have this uh, here protect the documents you need to click on it and then you can consider is it a final or encrypt with the password uh, restrict editing and things but as I said let's go with the password so you can choose any password here I am putting ABCD now click OK again it will ask uh, for the confirmation put the same password there click OK and you are done so you have to go back save the document and close it so what will happen when you click the next time try to open it up it will ask you the password you cannot any do anything else yeah, without putting the password so put the password same that you did and then the document will be open the reason to do that that in the nowadays like uh, we are using everything online like our all the Facebook account and uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram and all the things and we pay online in lots of websites so we don't uh, know the password or anything so you can put all together at here and one by one you can put your ID and password for all the websites and everything and then you can protect one document you can send yourself in an email this document or you can put anywhere you like in the USB or somewhere so whenever you want to uh, log in into the any website or anything it's uh, easy to access from everywhere and when you try to open it will always ask you the password without that you cannot do anything so this is really very useful so hope you learn it and uh, if you have any question or comments uh, please ask me uh, write down below on my video and then I will uh, revert back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching guys.